Hi guys, my name is Tamia. Welcome back to First Class Extensions. In today's video, we are talking about what you have to do before you get started with your hair business. I am going to basically get the layout of the beginning stages. This is the beginning stages only. Um, I know when we start hair businesses, we, we don't know what to do. So I am here to help you out. So let's get started. So before even going in depth about this, I wanted to make sure that this is something that you want to do because a hair business is not a business that's going to take off in a year. I mean, it, it, it could depend on how much marketing money you have, but I'm saying this is not something that's going to get quick rich scheme. If you want to get quick rich, this is not for you because this, this can be a quick scheme or it cannot be. It just depends on how you market this thing. You get what I'm saying? So let's, you don't need a lot of money to start either. I had no money. I used my paycheck and every time I got a little bit of money, I put some aside so I can buy some samples, you know, so that's what we can do. So before even anything, continue in this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I want you to go watch my previous videos after you watch this one, of course. And I want you to think about if this is something that you really want to do. So... Before buying, buying anything, we need to do research. We, Whenever we want to start something, we need to research. We never give ourselves time to research. Research took me a whole year because I'm trying to figure out raw hair from the from the tip to the tip to the end. Uh, what else they do? The process, the synthetic, the mixed hair. So that's what we need to research. We need to research what raw hair is, what processed hair is, what synthetic hair is, what mixed hair is. See, I don't need, I didn't even think you guys even know what mixed hair is. There's a such thing. And that's what these companies are starting to sell. And if you don't do your research, you will not know what mixed hair is. Before you do anything, we have to go inside of the business. Before we even start buying any kind of hair, we need to see what we're getting ourselves into. So what here's other stuff you can research. Um, of course, you can list the the raw hair, the process, and the synthetic, the mixed hair, the type of hair there is. Um, you can research how bundles are made because if we don't know how bundles are made and we get bundles and the hair is sticking out of the weft, you might not, you might think that that's okay, but it's not. Um, how wigs can be made and what type of wigs are there? There are headband wigs, there are lace wigs, there are U-part wigs. There are different types of wigs. Where the hair come from? Where whenever you go to a hair company, you need to fig ask them where the hair comes from and you need to figure out where is the source of where everyone is getting their hair from. How to buy it. Some people don't only do PayPal. Some people don't do PayPal. Some people have to do bank transfers. Um, how can you get scammed? Here's a lot of ways you can get scammed. Another example, if they say that they don't take PayPal. See, I don't kind of deal with those because I need PayPal. I need, to, I need to dispute this transaction if I'm getting scammed. I need to be assured that I'm going to get my money back. Um, another way you can figure out if you're getting scammed is uh, read reviews. Reviews are your best friend here. Reviews are your best friend. Figure out if you want to be a distributor or you want to buy from a distributor or a wholesaling manufacturer. A manufacturer is the one that makes the hair. A distributor is the one buys the hair from the manufacturer and sells it. Like another example, half of these companies say they're manufacturers, but they get their hair. They get bulk hair from India. They get the hair from India and then they make the hair. It's not like how India is the manufacturer, how they cut the hair off the lady's head and then make the hair. That's considered a manufacturer, but a distributor buys from the manufacturer and makes it as well. But they don't cut the hair off the head. So that, or you can get it from a middleman like me. Say if I offer wholesale, but I'm in the U.S. and I buy the hair from the manufacturer and I sell it to you wholesale price as well. So that's another example. Um, figure out which origin has the best hair. You need to figure out which origin, like India, Cambodian, Zimbabwe, who has the best hair. 
And you need to research different types of lace products because we need to make sure that we're getting these lace wigs. We're getting good lace wigs. I know they have Swiss, HD, transparent. There's a lot of things about the lace that we got to research. So after you research, you should, you should be at a point to figure out what you want to sell. Now, once you got what you want to sell, now it's time to make a business plan. Now it's time to plan all that research that you found and everything that you got together and everything that you want to sell into your business plan. A business plan is not only the map of your business plan, plan but it's the, it's the map that you're going to look at throughout this whole journey. You're going to use this business plan not only one time, but a lot of the times. If you don't know how to make a business plan, there is a link down in the description box where I have made a easy uh, business plan and I have described everything into the T and you will be able to get it. Do not start doing anything without making a business plan. Do not do no, no I don't want to know. I don't want to know what website you're going to use what website platform. I need to know if you did your business plan first, because if you're going to ask the bank for any kind of money, that's what they're going to ask for. Not, oh, how much followers do you plan on getting and things like that. So after we've done our business plan, after we've done the research, now it's time to sample. So we need to go to a vendor and I have a video on my YouTube about how to find a vendor. I have videos, a video on that. So we want to choose a, a vendor and then we want to test the quality of the hair. So say if you go to a raw Indian vendor, so a good way to test the quality of that hair is the burn test. So in order to see if that's 100% raw hair or is that mixed hair, did they add any fibers, synthetic fibers in there? The burn test will let you know. When you dye the hair, that will let you know. When you put heat to the hair, that will let you know. The sample process is not a process that needs to be rushed. It's a process that takes time. This is not a process that you just do where you're here for two months and then say, this is it. No, you need to put it to the test. You need to see what it gets when it gets tangled. How can you bring it back to life? There's a lot of things that go into sampling the hair. If you let me know in the comments, if you want me to do a video on how to sample your hair extensions once you get it, like what's the first thing you do? Um, there's different ways to do this, but if you want to know my way, let me know. So this is another thing after we do our business plan. This is some things that we need to think about while we're sampling our hair. We need to be able to multitask. So while we have our hair in our head, we need to make sure we're figuring this out. Do you want to make your own wigs or do you want the factory to send you their wigs that they made? This is a big deal because some, so some companies, some hair vendors, they already they have they have stocks of hair wigs already made. The employees mix them very fast. And up to you, say if you get 20 orders, you might not be able to um, fulfill each wig. It probably take you three days to do a wig. You know, you never know. So you never know. Do you want to make your own website or do you want to hire a website builder? It just all depends up to you. Are you are you, do you have the money, the cost to find a website builder or you have no choice but to do it yourself? Do you want to do drop shipping or do you want to do the business all by yourself? The website, the packaging, um, the logos, um, the customer service. You want to, do you want to do, of course you got customer service and drop shipping as well, but do you want, drop shipping is when, say if I, you come to my website and you order. So basically, the people, my manufacturer will get your order. I will get your order, but I can't do anything because I don't have the product. My manufacturer is going to get your order and they're going to send out your products and not me. They are. They might send it to me first so I can check it. Then I send it to you or it just depends. All right. Do you want to sell just hair? Or do you want to sell accessories as well? Do you just want to, this is just strictly a hair extension business, nothing more, no lashes, no jewelry, nothing less. Or do you want to add jewelry? Do you want to add, add eyelashes? Do you want to add earrings? Do you want to add things to it? Do you want to do your own logo or do you want someone else to do your logo? Now, with the whole logo thing, do not spend all your time because I promise you it, the logo will come naturally. It will come naturally. 
Are you going to find your own vendor or are you going to buy a vendor list? You know what? I have a video and I think I have a, I have a nice vendor in my video on YouTube. So go back and watch that video. Actually, I'll probably put it up in the corner up here. Are you wanting to sample hair yourself or are you going to have someone put the hair in your head for you? Um, this is what a lot of hairstylists do. They have put their clients, their um, clients that come on a regular, they put the hair in there and see if they like the hair or not because they probably don't want to wear it. They probably don't even like wigs. They just, you know, it's up to you. So this, these are the type of things that you're going to have to choose whenever you're starting your business. Like I said, this is the beginning stages. This is not the stage that you already started and you need help with marketing. No, ma'am. This is not that. This is the beginning stage. This is like first week business. All right, here are some tips. You do not have to focus on a website until you have your products. I don't want to know. I don't want to. I don't want you stressing over a website and you don't even have nothing to put on the website. You don't even have no product pictures. You don't even have no photo shoots done. There's no need for you to be worried about a website. Do not overthink your logo. Don't. Don't spend all your time figuring out the logo. That's the last thing you need to figure it out. Take your time. You will not be successful overnight. When you start a business, I know you see everybody else's business. You see pictures of their packaging. I know how that feels. But this is not something that you rush. This is not something that you rush. You take your time on this. Once you figure out your business name, look on before you do a business name, go to Google and see if anybody took your business name that you want to use to see if it's available. And then you want to immediately make your social media so no one won't take it. So that, that's another reason. That's another thing how people can know if their business name has already taken. You could kind of look on Instagram as well, see if anybody has your name. Yes, you need legal papers, but you do not have to rush to get them until you are ready to be open. You would not see any money in the first year of your business because, first of all, you have to invest back into your business. Your business is investing back into itself because you might not have as much buyers as you are in the third year of business. You get what I'm saying? So you never know. Don't tell anyone your vendor. You don't have to tell anyone your vendor. You can say, uh, no. You don't got to tell nobody. Focus on your own company. I know sometimes they say, well, what are your competition doing? What, what prices your competition has? This is you, not your competition's business. Write down a marketing plan. Save money for it. How, figure out how to do ads. You know, figure out why you're testing your hair. Figure out a way, different ways to advertise your hair. See, are you going to do photo shoots? Are you going to... Um, bring your girlfriends and are y'all going to dress the same and, and be cute, you know, and then do a photo shoot, you know? So it's just the beginning stage. This is the beginning stage. So that that's it. That's it for the beginning stage. Basically, all you have to do is figure out your budget, for your marketing plan, you need to figure out a marketing plan, which is means how you're going to advertise your hair. Basically, you get what I'm saying? Sampling your hair. Um, how much, what, what are you looking for? I want you to write down your dream hair extensions that you want to sell. And I don't want you to stop searching until you find it. This is not an easy journey. The beginning journey is kind of the hardest journey because it's the most stressful journey. So... Thank you for watching, guys. That is it. You know, like I said, this is for beginners only. You know, this is just to get you started. I got you started. I got you some things that you can research. I got you some things that you can research. This is something that you can research and things like that and to help you get started, to help you figure out where you want to go. So I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting me. Just thank you. And have a great day and come back for our next video. Oh, and comment below. Comment below some things that you might have. Like, what is some advice that you want to tell someone who's starting a business? Or what's a question that you have when starting a business? Let me know.